My travels around the world's barbecue trail have shown me some pretty amazing dishes, but none tops a Colombian showstopper called Lomo al Trapo. To make it, you need beef tenderloin and lots of salt, and one of these, a trapo, a clean cotton dishcloth. Watch quickly, it goes together fast. This is a Lomo beef tenderloin. Actually, it's a center cut from the tenderloin, weighs about two pounds. So the first step, is to take salt, lots of salt, a couple of pounds, and you want to spread the salt out in a layer about a quarter of an inch thick. Just spread it into an even layer. Next, sprinkle the salt with some dried oregano. Place the beef tenderloin in the center of the cloth. Then fold over one corner and the second corner. Fold the cloth over and start rolling up the beef tenderloin to encase it in cloth and salt. Take a piece of butcher string, and I'll show you a butcher's knot. Loop it over once, as though you were tying your shoe. Then point your fingers towards you. Loop over the far string over your finger, bring it around, and tuck the end through. That creates a sort of slip knot, so you can tie this tightly. Tie the other end the same way. Now I'm going to finish tying it up. To cook the Lomo, there's no cleaning or oiling the grill grate. Simply pick up the package and lay it right on the embers. Cooking time, nine minutes on one side, eight minutes on the other. Okay, it's been eight minutes on this side, 17 minutes in all. So off comes our Lomo al Trapo. And remember, whenever you pull something off the embers, you want to just sort of shake it to dislodge any burning embers, and then place it on a roasting pan. So what you want to do is kind of crack this cloth and salt crust off the tenderloin, and then brush off any extra salt And then, using a carving fork, you can thinly slice your Lomo. Look at that. Looks like we nailed it. I first tasted this dish at a restaurant called Andre Carne de Res, which means Andrew Beef. It's a giant, sprawling restaurant uh, about a half an hour outside of Bogota serves about 2,000 people on a Saturday night. But in fact, this dish is a, a popular dish for Colombians to make in their fireplaces at home. Slide your carving knife under the beef. Traditionally, lomo al trapo is served all by itself. But if you want a sauce, this is called ají, and it's a Colombian hot chili sauce. Mm. You would never believe something so simple could taste so complex. So there you have it, Lomo al Trapo. Grilling doesn't get much more primal than this.